What's up everybody, this is DJ Endo, DJ Product Specialist for Native Instruments and instructor at Dubspot. Today I'm going to show you how to synchronize tractor and machine, and I'll show you how to run both programs in perfect sync on one computer using one audio interface for both programs. In my previous video I showed you how to use the machine hardware as a four deck controller for tractor, and provided a four deck machine mapping that I made for tractor. Some artists who are using my machine mapping for Tractor are Carl Cox, Nick Fanchuli, and David Morales. Nowadays, more and more artists are bringing machine into their live setup and using it with Tractor. Some artists who use Tractor and Machine together live are Richie Houghton, Dubfire, and Chris Liebing. One misconception about using machine and Tractor is that to run both programs together, you need to use two computers. That's actually not true. If you're using a Mac, Tractor recently introduced Tractor Virtual MIDI, which allows you to send MIDI over a virtual MIDI cable inside your computer, sending MIDI from Tractor to Machine. If you're using a PC, you can actually plug a MIDI cable from your sound card's MIDI out port to the MIDI in port on the same sound card, such as the Audio 8 DJ, which will trick the computer into thinking it's getting MIDI from another source, but will allow you to have perfect sync between both programs. Another major Tractor update with Tractor Pro 2 was the improved MIDI clock send. In the past, the BPM of Tractor's MIDI clock would fluctuate a little bit, making it difficult to perfectly sync external programs to Tractor. Now with Tractor Pro 2, the MIDI clock has been tremendously improved so that you can have a stable BPM and a perfect sync between Tractor and whatever program you're syncing to. A major update to the machine software is with Machine 1.6, you can now incorporate VST plugins directly inside of a machine. So by syncing Tractor and Machine, you can now use your favorite plugins in perfect sync with whatever you're playing in Tractor, making the performance possibilities endless. After following all of the steps in this video, you can get both Tractor and Machine perfectly beat matched with each other, and your settings will be saved for each time you load both programs. Here's how to set it up. First in Tractor, open the Preferences, which is the gear icon in the upper right hand side of the screen. In the Tractor Preferences, go to the MIDI Clock section and turn on Send MIDI Clock. The next thing we're going to do is make sure our audio is set up correctly. I can do this by going to Preferences, Audio Setup, and I'll select the sound card I want to use. After this, you're going to want to make sure your output routing is set up correctly in Tractor. If I'm using an external DJ mixer, I'm going to want to set the output routing to external mode. If you're using Tractor's internal mixer or using an all-in-one controller such as the Tractor Control S4, I'll set the output routing to internal mode. But for this example, I'm using an external mixer, so I'll set it to external mixing mode, and I'll assign each deck to its own output of my sound card. So I'll set deck A to output 1 and 2, Deck B to output 3 and 4, Deck C to output 5 and 6, and Deck D to output 7 and 8. Now if I'm using the Audio 10 DJ, I can have another output which I can use for either the preview player or for effects. After we've set up our audio preferences, we then want to make sure that we can see the master clock and tractor by turning on the global section. We can show the global section by going to Preferences, Global Section, and just make sure the show global section is checked. And the global section is the master clock, which will allow you to choose what's controlling the master tempo of Tractor. If you're using timecode vinyl or CDs, I'd suggest using the auto mode. Auto mode means whatever deck has been playing the longest in Tractor will be the master deck, and every other deck in Tractor, and any external programs you're using will sync to this deck. If you're not using timecode, I would suggest turning auto off and turning on the master button in Tractor's master clock. This will make it so the master clock in Tractor is the master and all the decks will sync to the master clock as well as machine. This will allow you to type in the beats per minute or BPM directly inside of the master clock. Also if you look at the master clock, there's a master clock start button which is the play pause button which will start sending MIDI clock out of Tractor. Then there's the master clock sync button, which will reset the external slaves that are connected to Tractor via MIDI clock. 
So as soon as I hit the sync button, machine will reset its count starting on the one. So one, two, three, four, one. So as soon as I hit sync, it's gonna go to the one. I actually notice in my experience, if I'm gonna reset the count using the sync button, I push it in and I release it like a few milliseconds before the one beat. Another button that's important for syncing purposes is the tick button in the master clock. This button will turn on an audible metronome like tick with the master clock so I can actually hear the beat of Tractor's clock represented by a metronome. With all of that said, let's start sending MIDI from Tractor into Machine. In order to send MIDI clock out of Tractor, first we need to make a virtual MIDI device to send the MIDI out of Tractor. We can do this by going to the Tractor Preferences and Controller Manager. We'll add a new MIDI device by going to the Device Setup tab and clicking Add and adding a generic MIDI device. I'm going to rename the device so I can recognize it by clicking Edit, Edit Comment, and I'll call the device MIDI Clock. Now I'm going to tell Tractor which port to send the MIDI clock out of. Next to the Device menu is where you can set the in and out ports for sending MIDI. We're going to set our out port to Tractor's virtual MIDI. Now Tractor will be sending the MIDI internally inside the computer through Tractor's virtual MIDI port. For the in port, we'll set this to none so there's no MIDI loops. If you're using a PC and have an audio interface with MIDI in and MIDI out, you can set the in port to your interface, such as the audio Aid DJ, and set the out port to the interface as well. That way it's making a MIDI loop that will be sending and receiving MIDI clock. Now we're going to set up machine to receive MIDI clock from Tractor and configure machine's audio. With machine open, we're going to go to the preferences window and click file audio MIDI settings. Then click on the MIDI tab. Now we're going to enable Tractor Virtual Output so we can get the MIDI clock from Tractor by changing the Tractor Virtual Output status to ON. Now let's choose our sound card in Machine. To do this, we're going to go to the Audio tab and choose our sound card. For this example, I'm using the Audio 8 DJ. The next thing we're going to do is configure the audio routing for Machine by going to the Routing tab and choosing what outputs you want to send Machine out of. You can either designate Machine to its own audio output or you can even share Machine on the same output of a deck and tractor. The last thing we're going to do in Machine is turn on the option to sync to external MIDI clock by going to our file menu and turning sync to external MIDI clock on. This will make Machine a slave to Tractor's master clock. Now that we've got Machine all set up, let's go back to Tractor and start sending MIDI clock. With the Tractor screen showing, we're going to go to the Master Clock panel by clicking on the metronome icon. And to start sending MIDI clock, click on the Master Clock Start button, which is this play button right here. This will send MIDI clock out of Tractor. Now to beat match or sync the two programs, what we're going to want to do is turn the metronome of both programs on, and we're going to adjust a setting in machine called the sync offset slave. We're going to adjust that until both metronomes are ticking at the same time. To do this, we're going to want to enable the tick in Tractor's master clock so we can hear Tractor's metronome. We'll do this by clicking on the tick button and then clicking on one of the Q buttons on Tractor's mixer. Now we can hear Tractor's metronome. The next thing we're going to want to do is turn on machine's metronome by pressing shift play on the machine hardware. Now you might not hear Machine's metronome yet, and this is because we haven't started Machine's playback yet. To get Machine to start playing, we have to go back to Tractor, and in the Master Clock section, we're going to push the Sync button. This will start Machine's playback starting on the 1, and then you'll hear Machine's metronome. Now here's where we need to beat match or sync the two programs. With both metronomes playing, we're going to want to go to the Machine Preferences and adjust Machine's Sync Offset Slave, by going to Machine Preferences, click on the General tab, and then we're going to want to click up and down on the Sync Offset slave until both metronomes are playing together in perfect sync. Once Tractor and Machine are in sync, we're ready to rock. Just remember, if you want to restart Machine on the 1, just click on the Sync button to restart the 1, 2, 3, 4 count. If you're using the Machine hardware to control both Tractor and Machine, 
you can easily switch between controlling tractor and machine just by pressing shift control on the machine hardware. If you want to use machine as a MIDI controller for tractor, check out my previous videos on the DubSpot YouTube about using machine as a MIDI controller for tractor. This is DJ Endo. I hope you enjoyed the videos. To learn more about tractor or machine, check out DubSpot's online tractor and machine courses at dubspot.com. Peace. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.